Uh, four in hurdles, Rye Benjamin, 46.83. 46.83, number two all-time, .05 from Kevin Young's world record, the world record that he and Carson Warholm and Abdurrahman Samba have been chasing now for several years, and we almost saw it fall tonight in Eugene. Serenity, as you were watching this race, did you think he was that close? Or when you were watching him go through the rounds, he's kind of just playing with his food because he's so much better than everybody. Did you think that this would be the time when he would PR? Rye Benjamin on any normal day through throughout the years, that would not have surprised me. But him through these rounds, it absolutely surprised me. He was just kind of cruising like everything is cool everything is fine even through the point like in prelims he was like well you know i didn't even know how i felt to go that slow so i just thought maybe he was just going to try to make it he wasn't going to do anything spectacular but he definitely shocked me obviously i knew he was going to make it to tokyo i knew it was going to be something stupid fast but a 46 <laughs> are we going to have the relay discussion for the four by four again oh, because no. <laughs> <laughs> That one's a mess too. That one's a mess too. The difference is whoever the U.S. puts on, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a wrap basically. Uh, Gordon, we almost saw history here. We've been waiting for this world record for a while now to go down. I, I'm, I'm kind of with Serenity. Seeing the rounds, just okay, get through, get through. He talked about being patient. Like his coach has kept him and Michael Norman separate this year, not wanting to overcook it. Just stay healthy going into. To Tokyo. I hope this leads to something greater in Tokyo because what we saw in 2019, all the awesome lead up, but we didn't get the the epic time at the end. We had a great race, but we had, by their standards, kind of a ho hum time. Uh, do you think? Is there any question in your mind, Gordon, that this record is gone by the end of the summer? I mean, you guys declared it would be gone last summer and the summer before that and the summer before that, so. Uh, this is correct. I'm this is gonna, actually true. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna declare that. I think, you know, he could also keep on winning and just not happen to break the the world record, right? Think so many things have to go right for a world record to be broken. It's not just being fit and being world record. It's not about having a world record ability. It's about having the ability and the atmosphere and the situation, which isn't always guaranteed. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it's just kind of wild. Obviously. Rye is not really about competing against the other U.S. guys because he's just so much better. He's chasing history as opposed to chasing the current U.S. athletes. But has there ever been a time when we've had three, I guess say three, three athletes in their prime who you could argue are, are in the top five all time? Like, Because typically, if you look at a top five all time list, there's not a lot of overlapping, right? Maybe there was two guys or two women that are in the mm -hmm. top five, but has there ever been a time when there's three people in an all-time top five who are all running in their simultaneous, simultaneous prime? I can't say that word. Simultaneous? Simultaneous Simul prime. Simultaneous Sim prime. Simultaneous. Not simul simultaneous prime. Simul there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> simultaneous prime. Uh, so that's, a, that's a good question. That's part of the reason why the events – I mean, you got two right now on the women's side. I guess if if Shamir Little joins the party, then you could have that. And no, she we can... have three. Well, she's got to put a she's got to put a what I mean a fifty too low, right? To get in that. She needs to get a PR tomorrow. Yeah, she needs yeah. PR. Tomorrow. It's pos It's pos Yeah, I think because right now she's. I'm looking at the all time list here. Little's sixteenth all time, fifty two seventy five. But okay, you're talking about to get into the Warholm Samba. Benjamin range. Okay. 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 Yeah so, yeah. so I guess, I guess a top five all time mark, she'd have to run under 52 four, which I think it's possible. 52 five. It's possible. I mean, she looked pretty good today, but listen, I think it's definitely it, possible. I think that Shamir little has been holding back. 